Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp, and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I want to take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines, and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise as we welcome today's graduating division. Welcome, Division 301!
division. Three, zero, two. Division three, zero, three. Division three zero four. Division three zero five. Division three zero six. Division three zero seven. Division three zero And division three zero nine.
Today's graduate unit is Division 945. Division 945 provides the state flags, color guard, and drumline unit for today's graduation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face, section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions, counter, march. Divisions, halt. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see 10 divisions comprised of 890 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is seaman recruit Michaela Robinson from Dallas, Texas. Let's give her a hand, folks. Performing for you today is the staff unit on their seventh week of training, the triple threat unit on their ninth week of training, and the state flags unit on their 10th and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 3, 0, 1. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Juan Mares. Chief Petty Officer Eddie Guerrero. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Duncan Peterson from Corinth, New York. Division 3, 0, 2. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Daniel Andrew. Petty Officer First Class, Adam Drake. Petty Officer Second Class, Ronick Mitra. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Christian Price from Oceanside, California. <laughs> Division 303. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Noemi Kohler. Chief Petty Officer Joan Murray. Petty Officer First Class Alexandra Ogin. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Apprentice Giselle Morla from St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. Division 304. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Noemi Kohler. Petty Officer First Class, Egren Garcia Quintana. Petty Officer Second Class, Marvin Parker. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Drew Bastinelli from Hillsboro, Oregon. Division 305. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Kyle Foxwell. Chief Petty Officer Donzel Moore. Petty Officer First Class Elizabeth Rodriguez. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Dakota Miller from West Point, Utah. Division 306. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Kyle Foxwell. Petty Officer First Class, Paul Payumo. Petty Officer Second Class, Joseph Avery. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Abigail Neskovich from Glendale, Arizona. Division 307. 
Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Adam Terrell. Petty Officer First Class Bradley Walker. Petty Officer First Class Nicholas Fields. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Jesse Broyles from Waldron, Arkansas. Division 308. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Lydia Gutierrez. Petty Officer First Class Chad Byrne. Petty Officer Second Class Christopher Miller. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Jacory Miles from Phoenix, Arizona. Division 309. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Brian Parrish. Petty Officer First Class Adam Nelson. Petty Officer First Class Johnny Downs. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Recruit Colin Edwards from Savannah, Georgia. Division 945. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jamoy Smalls. Petty Officer First Class Jocelyn Quijada. Petty Officer First Class Michael Martinez. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Yamelet Echeverria Duque from Lillington, North Carolina. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Bosun and Honor Guard, take their places for arrival honors. This time-honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party. Recruit Training Command, arriving. Order! Order! Naval Service Training Command, arriving. Naval Air Forces arriving. The guests may be seated.
Will the guests please rise? Present. Arms. Present arms. Chaplain Bush will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, as we gather today to celebrate the graduation of these sailors from Navy Boot Camp, we extend our gratitude. In the face of challenges, they have shown resilience, dedication, a commitment to the values of honor, courage, and commitment that define the United States Navy. Grant them strength and wisdom as they embark on their naval careers. May the discipline instilled in them and the bonds forged during their journey serve as a guiding light. We also ask for your blessing on the RDCs and instructors who have shaped them, the families who have supported them, as they pledge your loyalty to our great nation, may we in return pledge our unwavering support to them. And God, let these sailors feel your presence in every mission, every drill, and every moment of quiet reflection. Lighten their path as they guard the freedoms we hold dear, and let them know they are never alone on their journey. I pray to the honor of your name. Amen.
Our guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. All the visions present or accounted for a man.
A war winner's reporting sir. Very well. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Navy Quarterdeck. I'm Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I'd like to welcome all the family and friends attending this graduation here live today and those watching online from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Daniel Underachiever, Commander of Naval Air Forces, Commander of Naval Air Force, U.S. Pacific Fleet. I would also like to acknowledge staff of our fleet sponsors, pre-commissioning unit, yeah, John F. Kennedy, sponsoring Division 304, Fleet Logistics Support Squadron 57, sponsoring Division 305, Fleet Logistics Support Squadron 62, sponsoring Division 303, USS Kearsar, sponsoring Division 306, and Commander Naval Air Forces, U.S. Pacific Fleet, sponsoring Division 309. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors and commands from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while here at Recruit Training Command. I'd also like to welcome all our veterans here attending today and thank you for your service to our country. Would all our veterans please rise and give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 9, 4, 5 graduates today, they are our flags unit, representing the tapestry of our American culture from around the corners. Let's give them a round of applause for our Santa Claus. And in case you didn't notice, there's nine other outstanding divisions before you here today. Let's give them a round of applause for that Santa Claus. Staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors, such as these standing before you here today. These sailors have navigated 10 rigorous weeks of demanding training and found most deserving in the next step of becoming United States Navy sailors. They will join other sailors around the world on watch to defend freedom and democracy against those who are threatened. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their family, and friends to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your family resources here and in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp Navy Family and check out our website for more information about your new Navy family resources. This, uh, this graduating training group, nine, ten short weeks ago, some of them uh, have kind of forgotten, we stood here and we said in this hall of honor, we would stand before your family and friends. You will stand here as graduates. You have arrived. Congratulations and good luck in your Navy experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to present 890 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Recruit Training Command's competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors, individually and as teams, met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle E flag in recognition of their performance. Division 302 has earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job well done.
Vice Admiral Cheever will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frobert, and Commander Nervous Surgeon Command, Rear Admiral Mattingly. For achieving the overall highest academic score during recruit training, Airman Alex Tonio Santos, Division 945 from Havana, Cuba, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Airman Tonio Santos receives a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor! For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Airman Apprentice Del Preet Chira, Division 303, from Sacramento, California, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Airman Apprentice Chira is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Fireman David Owen, Division 302, from Columbia, South Carolina, is the winner of the United Service Organization's Award for Best Exemplifying the Spirit and Intent of the Word Shipmate. Fireman Owen is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, sailor! Seaman Mary Patrick, Division 304, from Glastonbury, Connecticut, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for materials performance during recruit training. Seaman Patrick is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military's Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Airman Brandon Martinez, Division 308, from Pico Rivera, California. For demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism, Airman Martinez is awarded with a letter of accommodation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Fireman Drew Bassanelli, Division 304, from Hillsboro, Oregon, 
is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of accommodation. Fireman Bassanelli, the staff of Recruit Training Command, salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our award recipients and the outstanding work across this track here, please. I have the distinct honor this morning introducing the reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Daniel Cheever, Commander Naval Air Force and Commander Naval Air Force, U.S. Pacific Fleet, commonly referred to in naval aviation as our Air Boss. A native of Downers Grove, Illinois, he joined the United States Navy in 1988 and was designated a naval aviator in 1990. At sea, Vice Admiral Cheever commanded Carrier Strike Group 4, Carrier Air Wing 8, and Strike Fighter Squadron 147. Ashore, Vice Admiral Cheever commanded the Naval Aviation Warfare Development Center, made infamous by a certain movie starring Tom Cruise. Served as Chief of Staff to the Commander of Naval Air Forces and also as aide de camp General Richard B. Myers, United States Air Force, 15th Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff. Prior to his current assignment, he served as Director of Strategy, Policy, and Plans, and Chief of Staff, North American Aerospace Defense Command, and United States Northern Command. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command. Welcome. Vice Admiral Chief. Good morning. Thank you, Captain Froberg and Admiral Mattingly. Uh, very much appreciate the invitation. Congratulations to our newest sailors. You are awesome. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the family and friends who have come from around the nation and around the world from Jamaica, from Pakistan, from the Philippines, and many other nations, thank you for being here. We are all proud of you. You motivate us. Your service allows the Navy to preserve the peace, respond in crisis, and win decisively in combat. Thank you, families. Really well done with your sailors. Great job to the instructors and staff. My 96-year-old father is here behind me, uh, and he's here with Ted Rock uh, from the Navy League. And we are here to celebrate you, our warfighters, our sailors. You know, we were kind of upset when we drove on base with the speed bumps, but we're slowly getting over them. You know when a joke becomes a dad joke, when it becomes a parent, Okay, my wife warned me not to do those. At pizza last night, one of the recruits asked me for motivational words. I can think of nothing better than Thomas Jefferson's own words. I am a great believer in luck, and I find the harder you work, the more I have of it. Please maintain your discipline as you get to the fleet. That will equal your success. Our Navy, and our indispensable aircraft carriers ensure deterrence and maintain the rules-based international order around the world. Together, we serve, we excel, and we make a difference. God bless you, our Navy, our nation, and our allies and partners that love freedom as much as we do. Thank you very much.
Vice Admiral Cheever will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froebel. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders. Ball out and retrieve outer garments.
Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate eight towards the train station parking lot. Sailor, naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty Call! Liberty Call!